Hi guys, this is Philip, and today I'm going to show you my simple plugin uh, EFX AB Compare. The plugin doesn't do anything by itself, it's just an analysis tool. After Effects has a neat little feature in the snapshots when you can compare two layers with each other. This is cool, but sometimes you need a more precise way of doing it when you're working with the client and other packages have a tool called AB Compare where you can mm, split the line between mm, the first layer and the second layer and just go over one way or the other to reveal the changes. Uh, in After Effects you don't have that, you would have to use some masks or other tricks which isn't really uh, all that useful and handy. So I wrote a plugin for this. We've got two layers here. Mm, penguins and the lighthouse. Let's say we want to compare the penguins with the lighthouse. So, E effects, AB compare. Input 2 is the second layer, so lighthouse. And right out of the bat, you see the image B, so buffer B. Uh, buffer A is the original image, so mm, penguins. Image B is mm, the one you're referring to, you want to compare the current layer to. AB two points. You can now use these two points to select an axis along which you're going to compare these two layers. Uh, actually if you bring them inside you can do a clock wipe with this if you're into things like that. And now if you you're satisfied with your axis you would want a way to move this split so that you can reveal stuff. Moving those two points is a little tedious. So you have the uh, AB3 point. Now you can use the third point here. And it just moves the split line parallel to the axis you've defined by the two points. And that's basically the AB uh, compare. Now, we also have a mode mm, of changing the image in buffer B uh, to something else with an operation. So let's go to the second composition. Right here we have two images from a stereoscopic project. I will apply the mm, AB Compare filter to an adjustment layer so that you know you can compare an entire composition and its output with a single layer for reference. So let's add EFX, AB Compare, second layer as you can see we can we get the compare between two layers but what if we don't want the split line we actually want to compare the differences between uh, the layers so we will view the B buffer image and an operation for difference a difference will show you the difference between uh, those two layers uh, you are comparing cur currently so, as you can see, there are differences between them, because as a stereoscopic project, you might want to uh, align it. Thus, the offset parameter, where you can move the layers one against the other to match mm, position. It doesn't move or mm, distort the layers in any way, it's just within this filter. The same thing you could do if only if you use the uh, AB Compare on an adjustment layer, you can actually move the layer itself. That is the main layer in the composition. So if you move it, you will still get it. That's because mm, you're changing the composition and the effect here on the uh, adjustment layer uh, applies to the entire composition, not a single layer. As you can see, if we move the reference layer, nothing will change. Okay, what else? For now we've got only the difference operation. If you have any other suggestions, I'm totally open. Email me if you want to see something more here. Uh, we also have a multiplier that will multiply the difference so you can see a little bit better. And now you can actually see that we get this reddish cast. That's because our layer mm, has a color correction, but let's assume it didn't have a color correction. You get the uh, reddish cast. That means uh, it's got more red than the reference layer. So, let's do levels, red channel, and with a gamma, let's darken the reds. 
so that we get more of a gray tonality. And now, if you look at the images, the color cast matches. Okay, that's it.